Hey, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. We've curated a captivating collection of queer cinema that you can stream right now on Deku's YouTube primetime channel. This week, let's talk about Taekwondo, Chasen, and Falling. First up, Taekwondo. Compraron el quick? Sí. Chejero, ¿se está de novio? Es el novio de Fer. ¿Qué estás celoso, puto, como verga? <risa> no, estoy solo. Yo si tuviera esa carita de Brad Pitt y se me tiraron en la mina como se le deben tirar a este, ¿sabes qué? Me la paso mandando fruta hasta los 40 y recién ahí me pongo a pensar si quiero novia. Pero vos solo querés una novia para poder cogerte trolas escondidas. Acá el único fiel y serio es Tomás. Ey, yo también soy bastante fiel. Bastante. Bastante. ¿No soy fiel? Bastante. Sí, sí, igual no son tan fieles las minas, ¿eh? Tampoco. Esa no me la creo yo. Obvio que no son fieles. Son iguales que nosotros o peores. Lo que pasa es que son más zorras. Te la hacen bien y no te enteras nunca en tu vida. Testosterone is almost like an extra character in the hot, dude-packed hangout movie Taekwondo. Set in a beautiful country house in a chic suburb of Buenos Aires, the film follows Fernando and his buddies, who are about to enjoy a rowdy boys-only weekend. Disconnected from the outside world, they do little more than bask in the hot sun, play around in the swimming pool, smoke lots of pot and drink, naked or half-naked pretty much the entire time. On this particular occasion, Fernando decides to invite along a newcomer named German, a close friend from his Taekwondo class. Though German is quickly welcomed into the group, Fernando hasn't realized that he is attracted to men. Little by little, the two dudes get more intimate and the simmering sexual tension between them hits a boiling point. Assembling what might be one of the hottest casts of fit young studs in gay movie history, prolific Argentine director Margot Berger has outdone himself. You won't be able to take your eyes off the screen. Taekwondo is now available on Deku. You can also check out plenty of Marco Berger's other films, such as The Carnival, Hawaii, The Blonde One, Young Hunter, and Sexual Tension Volatile are all available right now as well. Next up, Chasen. I, um, can't be here too long. Has he not been? Well, I was in bed before you, uh, yeah? How about we, um, how about we go over there? It's locked. And your point is, Joey? Come on. An eight-minute Australian short from director Lee Matthews and screenwriter Ben Chow, Chasen observes an impromptu meeting between a Gen X daddy and a Gen Z twink. On a hot summer night, the pair meet up in a public park after flirting on scruff. The differences between them are immediately apparent. But after the two jump the fence of a nearby recreation center and the older man injures his ankle, the pair of would-be lovers share in a moment of vulnerability and unexpected connection. Suddenly, it seems like this may be more than just a casual hookup. Featuring charming performances from lead actors Deshaun Phillips and Jay DeLeon, Chasen offers up a sexy and kind-hearted meet-cute that may mark the start of a lasting relationship. Finally, falling. If you're serious about trying again, I can call the realtor and see if we can make an appointment for Monday. What's wrong with tomorrow? It's Sunday. Sarah's coming with the kids, remember? Let's shoot for Monday morning. Monday? Sure. Whatever floats your boat, son. It's not about making me happy. It's, it's what I want to help Grandpa find his new house, too. You've got school, honey. You already missed Friday, and I'm taking a soccer practice after. You gonna be alone with Monica? What are you driving at, Dad? What do you mean? About Eric being alone with Monica. I'll have the chicken satay, 
pad thai, pineapple fried rice, and a Thai iced tea with two straws, please. That's way too much food, sweetie. Let her order what she wants. I'm buying. But that's enough to feed all of us, Mr. Peterson. Willis, how many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Willis, it really is a lot of food. Either the pad thai or the... Stop picking on me. Shut up, Dad. Jesus. She's our daughter. And my granddaughter. I'll have the pad thai, then. You can share my iced tea, Grandpa. It's really good. Thanks, pal. Why don't we all have patty thai? Whatever the hell that is. What? Chicken and noodles and shrimp and stuff. You sold me. I think I'll have the uh, shrimp and crab curry special, please, and a coconut water. I'm going to have what my granddaughter's having. Um, I'll just share some of his, OK? I'm not that hungry, boom. And I'll just have water. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. The directorial debut of A-list star Viggo Mortensen, who also wrote and co-stars in the film, Falling is an emotional family drama in which two worlds collide. Mortensen stars as John, a gay man who lives with his partner and their daughter in California, far from the traditional rural life he left behind years ago. Legendary character actor Lance Henriksen plays his father Willis, a man who raised his child in a storm of rage. Early on, the film shifts between scenes of John as a boy, forced by Willis into regular tests of masculinity, and John as an adult, living happily out of the closet. But when Willis, now in the grips of dementia, descends back into John's life, his usual vitriol and rancid homophobia continue to flow unchecked. As a son still bound by duty, John must care for the man who hurt him the most. Co-starring Laura Linney, Hannah Gross, and acclaimed director and regular Mortensen collaborator David Cronenberg, Falling is a tense examination of the wounds and responsibilities that come with family and the overwhelming need to live one's life with honesty. Have you seen those films? Let us know in the comments what you thought, or follow us on Letterboxd, connect with other queer cinema lovers, and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku. Sign up for a free trial to get access to hundreds of gay films. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of queer classics, short films, and gay cinema from around the globe. Like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest. Thank <laughs> you.